Hey there guys, it's Anthony here from Cutting Edge Guitar. Got a bit of a different sort of video for you today because, well, for the first thing you can see, I'm not in the studio and I don't have a guitar in my hands. So what on earth is this video going to be all about? Well, I wanted to do this for you because I've just received a package of something that I've been talking to a few of my students about and I thought I might as well do this together with you. So. Everyone that has a lesson with me or has been following my channel up to this point knows that I'm absolutely mad about guitar picks. I'm always trying new ones, I'm always on the lookout for something new, something interesting. This has just come in the post, so I thought I would open this on here. We can have a look at these together. So, these are the new uh, Jim Dunlop Flow Gloss Pick. Saw these on the internet a little while back, obviously been in the UK, we haven't had access to them yet. So uh, I've been quite excited to try these, but um, couldn't get them. So let's have a little look. I'll open these up now. Uh, I've actually, I've been playing guitar all day today. I've been at the studio working on loads of material and all the rest of it for you know content for YouTube, stuff for my courses and all these sorts of things. So I actually have, um, some standard flow picks on me right now and what I wanted to do is just compare the size and have a look at everything to do with these so well there we go there's the pack I've got the old player not players pack I don't even know what they call these but I've got 12 of them I just thought I'd go in just get 12 ready to go because uh, they're not readily available here. This was the only pack that was on Amazon. So anyway, the uh, the ones that I'm currently using and I quite like are the Jim Dunlop Flow Jumbo 2.0. So that's the one that I'm using. It's the green pick. I personally like ones that are slightly bigger and like this flow this flow pick was a really really nice size. For me, I like this one better than the standard flow size, so I'm quite interested to see what the uh, the gloss picks are like in terms of size, whether they're like the normal standard flow or if they're jumbo size. So let's get one out. Well, first and foremost, I think personally I'm going to be slightly disappointed that they are slightly smaller than what I'm using normally. They are only ever so slightly smaller though. I'll just put the two together and bring it over for you here. There's the gloss pick alongside my jumbo pick. So, I mean, they are marginally smaller. I don't know if for me that is going to cause an issue or not. We can only, uh, we can only wait until I get in the studio and play them. And, and we'll go from there to find out. First things first, first impression as they sit in your hand. Well, the interesting thing about these that I wanted to uh, check them out for was because they've got an indentation. I don't know if you can see that on the, uh, on the camera there. But uh, just in here, they've got an indent for your finger, which the standard one doesn't have. The standard one's got a grip area. I'll have to do another one of these in the studio another time so that we can properly have a good look at these, take some photos of them and show them to you. But they've got a, a grip area, whereas these have got, they have got sort of like a grippy feel. In that, um, in that indent, there is a grippy feel in there. I don't know if you can see that. Obviously just doing this at home, it's not as good as what I'll get in the studio. I will do a proper playthrough of one of these for you. But the indent in there is, um, it's interesting how it feels in your hand. To me, it's kind of got that feel of a big stubby about it. Um, just on a on a first feel. Yeah, it's got a bit of a big stubby approach to it. Super sharp tip. Sharper than what I'd say a brand new normal flow feels like. Geometry-wise, they feel kind of similar. Uh, I've gone for the 2mm version. Normally, um, uh, well, yeah, I, I, I tend to go for 2mm picks normally anyway. I like the 2mm. Since I've been using these kind of picks, 2mm has been the way to go for me. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That's what they look like. As a little, my first unboxing video for you guys, just into some picks. Hopefully I'll be unboxing some guitars sometime soon rather than just plectrums. 
But uh, yeah, full review of this will be coming up soon. So if you don't subscribe to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Come and find out what's all, uh, what this is all about. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.